Albuquerque church with a long history caught fire today. Now all that remains of the Joy Light Church of God is its structure. Everything inside damaged. News 13's Marissa Lucero is live near Broadway and Cesar Chavez with details. Marissa. Dean, even after seeing the damage this fire caused, churchgoers tell us, although devastated, they hope something good comes out of this. As water spills out the front steps and smoke seeps through the shattered windows, dozens of firefighters walk through the Joy Light Church of God, and all congregants can do is comfort one another. And this is just devastating. It's just devastating. It took 30 firefighters to put out the fire that broke out this afternoon. The pews, some of the furniture, piano, other items were uh, damaged as well. And there's going to be significant smoke damage throughout the rest of the structure. The building remains standing, but most everything inside is ruined, leaving the community in shock. It wasn't just a place of worship, it was a place where the black community could be safe. Lorraine Smith says the church built in the 1950s was considered a safe haven for the people in the African American community during the civil rights movement. We just recently found out how, what a historical landmark that we have been worshiping in. The cultural uh, atmosphere we're in right now, um, it's really important for us to know our history and our legacy. The church's pastor, Claude Bell, hopes investigators deem the fire an accident, not arson. He says until then, all he can do is have a little faith. I'm claiming that God's gonna give us something better. And uh, God does not let something like this happen for a reason, that he doesn't have anything better for us. And Bell tells us that his congregation has been working with the city recently in order to deem and recognize the church as a historic landmark. Back to you, Dean. All right, Marissa, thank you. No one was inside at the time of that fire. The cause is under investigation. Well, no one